Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of GTA 5. And on today's part, we are going to be doing the Epsilon program storyline. So this is a secret storyline that you can um, start up. I think you can do it really any time in the game as Michael, but um, I always like to do it at the end of the game. Um, so anyways, we're going to be going to the Epsilon program's website. So you can get a link to the Epsilon program like here. Poor, confused souls. So every single one of the characters will um, comment on the I website. I wanted to be in a cult. I'd have started one. <laughs> but only Michael can join. <laughs> Trevor says he doesn't want to be in um uh he doesn't want to be in a cult. Um, he would start one. So access denied. Your IP has been logged. Is that unsavable? Let's. <laughs> I'm beyond saving. I'm beyond saving. So a lot of people don't know that the other characters have dialogue on the website. But let's um let's switch to Franklin now. Let's see what Franklin's dialogue is. I ain't there yet. I ain't there yet. Kiflon. Man, that's stupid. <laughs> Man, that's stupid. Then your accent, your your IP has been logged. Is that unsavable? Man, this ain't for me. Yeah, so that's Franklin's comments. Now let's do Michael. So look, it works for Michael. Um, do you want to be happy and free um, uh, from thought? or continue dying in, in ignorance without knowing your true eternal self, you are controlled by lots of powerful forces you do not understand. Do you want to believe? Are you everything you need and less, uh, and less and more? Then you are ready. Do you want to be rich in powerful tools? Our time has come and so is yours. If you let in, the tract is now being uprinted. Evaluate your identity. Pale blue is the new black. Click here to purchase official Epsilon robe set. Looks great throughout this paradigm and the next. Designed by highly successful Epsilonist Sebastian uh, Dix. Make a donation. Welcome to the Epsilon program. This is so. This is Chris Fromage, the Fromage, the founder of the Epsilon program cult. Um, to understand the Epsilon program, the powerful tools it can unleash in your life, you need to understand its founder, Chris Fromage. Chris Fromage has been a spiritual adventurer. One has led him to the far reaches of the earth, seeking to bring meaning to the meaningless. After a soul-crushing spiritual journey through many casting auditions that went nowhere, he made a great discovery, and find what and indeed the world hasn't been the same since. I have achieved many great things in this life, and the one before. The earth is 157 years old, and many of us have lived and died once already. What I tell all Epsilonists uh, is that to understand the meaning of the universe, you will need to get down to the core of your being and credit score and credit score and listen to hundreds of expensive hours of my lectures. Then you'll understand and know the true uh, form, and that is knowing um, uh, uh, knowing a smile that lasts an eternity. Chris Formage, Luxembourg, 1994. Chris is the award-winning writer, writer of the quest for the tract of Epsilonism. The tract of this, the ninth paradigm, which has yet to be written, is often the topic of hundreds of speaking engagements worldwide. Many governments and mental health parties condemned Epsilonism at the onset. It paid no taxes, purchased land and building all in major cities, and conducts what, uh, uh, what to some are bizarre sex rituals with multiple partners. However, as time went on, more and more followers joined it. It became clear that this, this is a bona fide religion, founded by one of history's greatest leaders. So I'll tell you guys something. The Epsilon program. You know how in GTA a lot of the factions and stuff, cities, locations are based on real places? The Epsilon program is a parody off of Scientology. Um, uh, some of you guys might not know what Scientology is watching. It's a real-life religion that a lot of people describe as a cult. And um, uh, if, you're, if you live in California, chances are you probably know what Scientology is because that's where Scientology is big is in Hollywood. Um, it's pretty well known there in that area. A lot of celebrities actually are involved in um, uh, Scientology, which in this game ce celebrities are in the Epsilon program as well. Um, Chris was a founding. He had no parents. He can meditate for a really long time. The first time he played uh, golf, he hit seven holes in one. He has written several great books and, and sired many children. He has also fought mythical beasts. He is too humble to describe his divinity. But we aren't so b b bashful. An expert in judo, uh, tantric sex and tax law, Chris founded Epsilonism as a truly American religion, emanating from Vinewood, celebrating celebrity worship and franchising to the far reaches of the earth. Chris established the first Epsilon Center in Vinewood and quickly learned an eternal truth. Oh man. See celebrities. So this um uh 
this talks about a lot of celebrities that um, uh, that joined the Epsilon program. But um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to read here on this. Um, but uh, the Epsilon program, it's um, uh, in Scientology in real life, and let's um, Scientology in real life has their members pay ridiculous fees to their religion, and. Um, I don't know of any other religion that does this. Um, uh, Christianity, um, Islam, Judaism, Buddhism, Taoism, um, any other religion that I can think of. I, I don't know of any religion that um, little, literally has its its followers pay money to the religion, but Scientology does. And what Scientologists, um, uh, oftentimes they will buy books. So they, they come out with new books. The founder of Scientology is a science fiction writer, I believe. Um, which is GTA is making fun of here, and so the the religion constantly releases new books over and over again, new books, DVDs, guides, stuff like that, and they tell people, oh, buy this, buy this, and the Scientology religion will argue that they're not forcing anyone to buy it, but if you if you're part of that religion and you don't buy the um uh, you don't buy their newest book or their newest DVD or Blu-ray or whatever else, uh, they're gonna treat you like almost like an outcast. Oh, you didn't get the new book, the new book that is updated, everything like that. So it's just a lot of people say it's a scam. You know, I respect all religions, um, uh, but like you know, this Scientology, you know, I I, I kind of agree with Rockstar here. Uh, just this is just um uh, this is just something else. Um, and also because they're a religion in the U.S., they don't pay any taxes. Um, uh, and so a lot of people wonder whether it's a scam. A lot of rich celebrities are heavily involved in Scientology. But look up Scientology. This is what Epsilon program is based on. Uh, the Epsilon program is a major world religion with members in 152 countries and employs science and means of clearer thinking that empowers its followers to become living manifestations of the divine through an understanding of the metaphor central to it and human history, biology, and psychology. Epsilonists are free from illness, insecurity, or any form of weakness. Many live to be 300 years or more. Yeah, nonsense. Okay. The 12 tenets of Kiflam. The world is 157 years old. Fact. No, that's false. Dinosaurs are a lie that people believe because they are weak. Fact. No, it's false. You are happy, you just don't know it. Well, that, that depends. We all come from the same tree. Uh, I don't know what they mean by that. Um, everyone is related to everyone else except for people with red hair. What? Um, uh, okay. This term does not exist. It is a lie spread by biology teachers along with everything else you have been told. Men are supposed to lie with nine new partners a week. Women are supposed to lie with six except for in July when they must lie with five. What? I forgot how ridiculous this is. Aliens exist and are present on Earth. If you have a birthmark, you may be descended from Kraft, the famous emperor of the fourth paradigm fact. So in the Scientology religion, I don't know the whole thing um, entirely, but they believe that there was this like um, uh, ancient alien that had um, uh, imprisoned these other aliens, killed them, and then their souls like traveled to Earth or so something like that. Um, uh, that it, they, it revolves around this ancient alien that's like millions of years old. Um, Trees talk, but only some people hear them. Fact, well, I think maybe crazy people hear them. People who believe in something uh, live much longer than atheists, and they have eternal life thrown in for good measure. If you believe this and turn your hands and wallet over the Epsilonism, you'll ha live a happy life. Otherwise, you are doomed. Fact, Kiflam, happiness is your Kiflam. Okay, um... Do you have red hair? No. Do you ever experience deja vu again? No. Do you want to understand completely to be complete? Sure. Do you have the endurance to lie with nine partners a week? Oh. Do you consider attractiveness relative to your own attractiveness? What does that mean? Do you have a birthmark on your face? No. Do you want to be famous? No. Are you able to look at things and see them as metaphors for other things like trees and eagles? No. Can you easily ignore your entire family and join a group of uh, of a new group of friends, no. Do your cheeks clear? Okay. You have an enlightenment level of 24%, which is the highly undesirable band. Your graph reveals you are extremely un unfulfilled, depressed, un unsuccessful, and lacking in purpose, and sometimes feel like stabbing out your own eyes or the eyes of others. Please realize this is not uh, the opinion of you. It's the opinion of, of you run through a very complicated analysis machine that we sell for a profit at the Epsilon gift shop. The important question is, do you appreciate the limitations of your misunderstandings? It is vital that you disconnect from your inadequacies. You must take action. Travel through the dawn to the past, um, to the past pictures in our brochures. Look for a red truck with a dent on the right fender. 
raise your left hand and recite the words, Take me to my father, father, brother, uncle, Kiplum. We'll do the rest because we know there is Kiplum and there is Kraft and both be praised. <laughs> So now we have this icon on the map. That is the red truck that they're talking about. Let's go over there. A red truck, huh? Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Take me to my father, father, brother, uncle, Kiflam. Yo, peace, brother, brother. Kiflam. Oh, Kiflum. really? Oh! <laughs> $500, please. So now they took your clothes. And now they're telling you to go to Vinewood. So now we have to go back to the Epsilon program website. Make a donation. $500. Thank you for your donation, brother, brother. Kiflam be praised. Kiflam. So now we wait, after waiting a day, we get an Epsilon program, like, little, like, um, uh, what? icon on the map, and we can meet up with them. Now here you're gonna see a GTA 4 character. Kiflam, you have come this far, but the journey has only just begun. You've waited years for this moment. You're exactly in the right place. I was lost. I sold myself. I took drugs. I was in conflict. Then I discovered an incredible truth, a truth so incredible that if I told it to you now, you would melt into nothingness. You are ready, but you are not ready. Oh, I'm not ready. Then you're ready. I don't know about that. The truth is incredible if you're capable of understanding it. We have your email address. We will send you an incredible education tool that will help you to unlock the secrets of the existence. That will cost as little as $5,000. $5,000. What price would you put on having the tools to understanding everything and to achieving the impossible? The price I would put on that is every penny you've ever earned. Kiflin, sister mother. Well, the price I would put on it is all the money in the entire world because that is how much it is worth. Well, we're offering you millions of dollars of top quality research and learning by society's best thinkers for only $5,000. Think about it, Michael. And if you think too long, we know you're not ready. Kiflam. Kiflam! So they're making fun of the fact okay. that Scientology constantly tries to sell stuff to their their um, followers. You know, the books, the the Blu-rays, DVDs, whatever else they're trying to sell. Constantly trying to sell something. Um, Marnie. Now, Marnie, she's in GTA 4. I don't know if you guys remember Marnie. Uh, I didn't recognize her by her appearance in this game, but the name. Marnie is that girl that Nico saved. Remember the girl that was addicted to heroin? She's a random stranger that Nico meets. She's addicted to heroin, and then and then afterwards Nico drives her to the train station, and she says she wants to go back home to the Midwest and uh, get her life back under control. She sends e Nico an email telling him that she wants to be a psychologist, and um, uh, so it, it unfortunately she fell into a cult. So she's no longer a drug addict, which I guess that's good, but she kind of got brainwashed by this cult. Um, Give us $5,000 to donate I'll towards your future enlightenment, okay? Donate $5,000. Processing transaction. Thank you for your donation, brother, brother. Kiflam be praised. Kiflam. Fine. I'll meet you at the courthouse on Monday. All right, yeah, 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 yeah.
I wonder what Marty's voicemail is. I am busy with Kraft's work. If you want to be rich in powerful tools for a very reasonable price, please visit www.epsilonprogram.com. Michael, or should I say Zolag? What? Your real name is Zolag. You are a king. You lived in a cloud city, but evil forces came and cast you out. Now you are trapped here, but soon you shall be free. Okay. I used to be called Marnie. Now I am Shupar, Queen of the Winds. <laughs> Doubting is the pathway to believing for non-objectionable persons. The literature is very clear about that. Ah. Why is it whenever people talk about reincarnation, they're always a king or a general or a famous person? How come they're never a serf or a rock or a bug? Oh, exactly. it is easy to be a doubtful antithesis, but be a thesis, Solag. These are incredible truths. I used to be lost. Now I'm the most powerful person in existence. Last night, I went to 47,000 places at the same time. Okay, this is bullshit. Objectionable persons fall at any hurdle. Goodbye. Helping higher beings is the pathway to acquiring a higher existence. I'm sure it is. You're not. But you are on the way. Some of our true thesis holders, who also happen to be top of their field actors, philosophers, and humanitarians, require cars. Oh. Can you find it in your heart to be of service? The spirits shall email you their requirements. The spirits have email. Don't be an antithesis, Zolag. Kiflon. Kiflon. Scientologists um, uh, constantly talk about all the celebrities that are involved in their um, uh, that are involved in um, uh, in their religion. It's um, uh, and they talk about you know this this person's famous, this person says that, but just because somebody's a celebrity doesn't make them qualified in others' things. Doesn't make them qualified to speak on stuff like this, like. It's fine for people to have like a belief and all of that. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's just that the, the idea that because somebody's a celebrity and they believe a certain way and you should believe that too, that's no. Um, but the most famous celebrity that I know of that is actually a member of Scientology is Tom Cruise. I don't think he ever left Scientology. I think he's still a Scientologist. I know a lot of other celebrities have left it. Um, the Road to Enlightenment, brother. These are the vehicles that the that the higher beings require. Pegasi Vaca. Benefactor um, uh, Sur Surano, the Classy Tornado, and Enos um, a Super Diamond, Dinka Double T. Make sure these vehicles are delivered in a condition bene uh, befitting the level of divine understanding that our thesis holders have reached. Carry out this small task for us, and you will be rewarded with great knowledge and infinity, uh, infinitely greater value. Craft be praised, Marnie. Now they want you to deliver cars to them, and uh, this is the only location on there that I recognize. These pictures are very like, um, like this first one. That's almost impossible to tell where that is because there's like it's a garage. It's somewhere in Vinewood um, Hills. Um, this a little bit easier, but it's still very hard to tell. This one, I this one I could tell though. This one because I remembered I remembered this garage that's on this big road here. But um, these other ones I wasn't able to tell where they were unfortunately. Um, but um. You deliver these to the Epsilon program. GTA series has a good video um, showing the locations on these cars. You can also buy them if you want, but I'll show you guys the locations also on the cars. So this looks like Chris Fomage's house, I believe. This is his location. And so all these cars are to- fancy cars are to be delivered to him, of course. Get flown, Zolag. Good boy. One of five Epsilon vehicles delivered. Oh, is this one of them, too? Oh, I think it is. Okay. Wow. I guess it is one of the, um, uh, one of the vehicles. 
I'll still show you guys where to find this vehicle, but um, wow, I found that quick. Well done, Zolag. Well done. This is the work of a true thesis. <laughs> So you guys see the car right there? It's right here. That's where that car was. That that um the Rolls Royce in real life. Um, keep forgetting what his GTA name is. But that's where that car is. So the bike is gonna be right here. It's gonna be at this hotel where you actually pick up Dixon from in the um, nightclub DLC. Right above the golf course. Here we go, got it. Zolag, don't be an antithesis. The supercar is right underneath Franklin's house, so it's the hill underneath his, his house, and there it is. Overshot my dot a little bit. But yeah, this was the hardest picture out of all of them to figure out where it was, because it's just like a driveway. You don't know exactly where it is. Okay, there we go. That car's delivered. One more vehicle. Give up, baby. Ow. And the car, the last one, is gonna be right here. And that's the final car. 46 places at once and still stuck on the Olympic freeway. Kiff. Yeah, so Michael's like, why am I even doing this? Brother, brother. Uh, you are progressing. Chris and the senior thesis holders are very happy with the vehicles you source to further crafts, crafts work. You are firmly on the path to enlightenment and divinity, but it's long and expensive path. And there are many more trials ahead. Are you ready to understand the technology of your existence? Are you, are you everything you need and less and less, uh, uh, need and less and more? Until next time, brother. Craft be praise, Marty. Eat me. It's still flashing blue. Imagine if the answer to everything was hidden in this bush. Or the answer to nothing, because that is the answer to which there is no question. So this guy's Jimmy Boston. Remember him in the nightclub DLC? Gift bomb. Marnie. Wait, I thought my name was Zola. That's because everything you have ever thought is wrong, Zondar. Do you know top actor, philosopher, and environmental activist Jimmy Boston? What's up, bro? Hey, how you doing? Kiflam. Right. Yeah. Kiflam. <laughs> Welcome to the truth. Your thoughts are probably very confused. Chris is clear about this. Yeah, you're neither thesis nor antithesis. You're nothing. Sondar, nothing. I've become a thesis, bro, in record time. So Chris said I could hunt for extraterrestrials out here using this incredible meter. This is science the authorities try to suppress. <laughs> well, Zondar, now you can meet your people. Oh. <laughs> Kiflam. Kiflam. Michael's like, oh my god, these people are nuts. Kiflam. This so area is a confirmed hotspot for extraterrestrial activity, bro. The device should light up blue when it finds a signal. So, um, uh, Jimmy Boston is a parody off of Tom Cruise, apparently. Um, he's an actor in the GTA world that's big in, um, uh, in, in the Epsilon program. Like, Tom Cruise is big in Scientology. Tom Cruise is a pretty good actor. Um, uh, I do think, uh, so, but I just don't like it when he 
just talk Scientology personally. No, yeah, it's like I you said, aren't um, ready, which means you're ready. People have the right to believe whatever they want, um, uh, but, you know, uh, I guess people also have the right to criticize it, and, um, uh, it's, um, just with Scientology, I, I pretty much agree with Rockstar's depiction of, uh, w with the Epsilon program. I respect all religions, but, uh, this, uh, this, this thing is, this is something else, um. And also, Scientology constantly goes after people that leave their religion and tries to defame them. Um, uh, they try to sue them also. Uh, that's very common. Whoa! Wait a minute. What the hell is this? Wh what's going on? Oh yeah, you're feeling it, aren't you? The truth of a thousand galaxies! Or a weirdly vibrating flashlight. Oh! Oh, oh, hey! This? It? I don't know. Shukuku car! Is this it? If there is doubt in your Their mind, names are so stupid. And the metaverse will not reveal its secret. Guess we keep looking, bro. Do not despair, Zondar. You just need to try harder to rid your mind of ignorance. That's all. The meter only responds to your inner god, which must be set free to soar through the paradigm. So it, Let it flashes blue when you're walking your in the right direction. Organs. Resonate okay. with your whole. Show some restraint. Activate your presence. You must imbue the simplicity of the meter, Zondar. Okay, let's move up a little bit more here. Where is your focus, Zondar? I think I'm close. The Emperor has chosen you. A billion destinies in one. Sondar will be praised in the next paradigm. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. What is that? So this is it. Right? Do you doubt the truth? Do you? I doubt that you don't doubt. Now I'm doubting. Then the search must continue. This makes no sense. Hey, Marnie? Shupar? This is ridiculous. Like, I don't have anything better to do. I heard that. You're being an antithesis again. Okay, let's see. Uh... Okay, this direction. And if I remember correctly, it's a boot that you find at the end of this. Okay. Come on then, little flashing box. Reveal the great truth to me. This is it. I am 110% unequivocally positive this is it. Then you understand, Zondar. I understand that this is fucking it. Good. Then you know what it costs. Five grand. Ten. Whatever. Ten grand. Get them. Damn. You contact Jimmy Boston. I wonder what happens if we try to call Jimmy here. This is Jimmy Boston. No point in leaving a voicemail. I don't deal with messages. I have people for that. Kiflam. Wow, it's very entitled that he you can't you can't even be bothered to reply to your voice messages. You have other people, you know, do it for you. You know, very entitled celebrity. So Rockstar makes a fun of a lot of celebrities in the GTA games. Please visit our website um, to donate ten thousand dollars towards your future enlightenment. So more stuff to buy, more money to waste. Oh man. Thank you, brother, brother, Kiflam. We praise Kiflam. And donate $5,000 again. So we donated $10,000 now. So how much are we in? $15,000? $15, $15,500 about? 
right now that we've entered into the uh, Epsilon program. So now we meet Marnie again. We are all dead and we are all immortal. Hello, Zondar. <gasps> are you ready? For what? It is today and the tracks can be written. Wait, wait, wait. I can't believe that you got wrapped up in this bullshit. Uh, you seem like a nice girl. Objectionable antitheses are worse than idiots on a sinking ship. The literature makes that very clear. Yeah, well, does the literature make clear that you need help? I have help. I know the truth. <laughs> no, you if don't. If you want to know me, agree to pay your dues and wear pale blue attire for the next ten days. You should get the attire off the website. It's very reasonable, right? <laughs> what? Very reasonable, right? Are rate. you even capable of listening, Zondar? Kiflump. Dream the impossible. Dream of a planet of fire and, and a dinosaur with a saddle. If not for me, who am I? Spaceship Earth over? Um, overpopulation means breakdown of order. The fruit tree is a lie. Fruit tree lies? Okay. Robe instruction. Kiplom's on there. In order to prove yourself to our great leader, Chris, you will need to purchase a set of robes at a minimal, minimal uh, cost from our online store. Wear them for 10 days. Uh, visit the store at epsilonprogram.net to get started. We look forward to seeing you on the other side. Okay, so now we can purchase the, the ropes. Twenty-five grand? Jesus! I mean, crap! Twenty-five thousand dollars! Congratulations on scaling the tangent this far. Now you can literally wear your belief on your sleeve with the original Epsilon rope set. You'll look great through the paradigm, uh, this paradigm next. As Epsilonists, we know that the that the religious attire and fashion don't have to be mutually exclusive. That's why we teamed up with Fudgy and top designer Sebastian Dix, who is himself a successful Epsilonist and pretty much one of the best. Thesis around to create a truly timeless and tasteful look worthy of the newfound understanding you have for your eternal self. Made of comfort comfortable, lightweight, breathable, scientific fabric. The Epsilon robes are easy care, non-wrinkle, and quick access. They go on as quickly as they come off in case it's time to do your duty. It's power dressing day wear and comfortable nightwear rolled into one. It's medieval night meets 80s glam rock meets white trash leisure suit. Yes, that's three great eras of fashion history in one effortless look. It sends a message that you're a pair of spiritual elite, yet still in touch with the unsavable common man. Make the ultimate fashion um, and religious um, statement today for one bargain, non-refundable payment, $25,000. What price salvation? What price looking good for eternity? Buy robes, okay. Not wait. Allow 24 hours for delivery. Um, praise craft. Okay, so now we wait for the robes. Okay, so now we have the robes. And the thing is, though, if you don't get the robes delivered, just switch characters after 24 hours. That's what worked for me, because I waited, like, two in-game days. I didn't get the robe. But now we have to um, wear the robes for 10 days. And you know what that means? That means the quickest way to advance time would be to sleep. You can keep blowing yourself up. I guess there's that, but I don't like doing that. Um, that advances time by 10 hours versus this, which advances time by 6. So means that you're going to have to uh, sleep for basically 40 times as Michael. So I'm just going to fast forward through this. I'm sleeping 40 times because you guys probably don't want to watch this. Okay, so 10 days should have passed now. You have worn the robes for 10 days. There we go. And now we should get an email right now, I believe, from... Okay. Okay, from Chris. Kiflam, your robes um, uh, clothe the nakedness of a spectral ignorance. We have been following your progress with great interest. You shall be summoned. And let's just see what Chris's voicemail is. Even though I'm everywhere all at once, I can't get to my phone right now. I'm not here, but I'm here. Just as you're not ready, but ready. Take control of your existence at EpsilonProgram.com. Kiflam. Even his voicemail is trying to, um, uh, sell his, his, um, cult. Oh my god.
Hey, Zondar, we need your help retrieving one of our sacred vessels. Head out towards the uh, coast near the military base. A fellow acolyte will meet you there. <laughs> whoa, whoa, okay. Taxi almost ran over Jimmy there. Ah, brother Zondar, I knew you'd come. I was told to come. Chris needs you to take this plane to initiate Boston. He awaits you in the east. Okay, detailed as ever. Truth must be revealed gradually until you're capable of understanding it. Okay, get in the plane. Deliver the plane to the airfield. Pretty easy mission, all you gotta do is just fly to the um, Sandy Shores airfield. Don't fly over the military base for obvious reasons. Plays a creepy Epsilon program music. My eternal brother, brother, you get the secret plane from the secret location? Yeah, I'm in the secret top plane secret from baby the secret blue location. plane. Where am I heading? Unknow it, and you'll know. Look, can you just know it for me so we can move this thing along? <laughs> okay, but that's entry level stuff, bro. Sandy Shores Airfield, I'll meet you there. Kiflom. Kiflam. So he basically told him unknow it, but like to he doesn't even know where he's supposed to fly. The whole this whole cult is just so stupid, it's ridic it's it's just it's so funny in this game, but it's 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 just so ridiculous. Kip flop, cool. And the plane? <laughs> Kip flop. Oh, nice. You're almost a thesis of truth, bro. You're nearly there. Should've cost a little time and effort, and then it's astro planes and 37,000 places all at once. <laughs> and the chicks, oh! <laughs> you know, Chris and I sometimes watch porn together in the nude. Just to prove we don't get turned on by it. What a creep. Pretty awesome. Anyway, Kip flop, man. Laters. Kip on. Oh! Chris says, if you're ready, there's a tree of truth. Now he'll arrange a map, but it's kind of expensive to reach this level of existence. Expensive, quite of a course. bit of money. Someone to mail you, bro. Mind if I take the plane? Kip on. Yeah, this is just getting so ridiculous. Michael is saying Kip on everything, too. Well, at least we get a car here. Zondar the bridge. I think it wants us to fly under the bridge, but whatever. Kiflam! Kiflam! Come on! You've discovered great things! Kiflam! Brother, father, you now know we're not alone. And you've discovered the importance of higher beings, celebrities, like me. There's people to worship and guide you to truth. Oh my god, entitled here. celebrity. This is your medal. For your achievements so far. Chris is very happy with you. Indeed I am happy, Zondar. You have achieved great things. But it is as a blink of the eye. Unless you achieve more, you shall not 
survive the apocalypse. Chris has spoken. Kifla. Kiflam, Zondar, you're nearly a true thesis. Your antithesis is almost quelled. Oh, it's so great! I'm very reasonably priced, too. Mm. Ah, quell my antithesis. It's easy. Just bring a small donation to Chris at the Epsilon Center in the city. But first, you must wear your medal and your attire and run five miles through the desert. They're serious, by the way. You have to run five miles yeah, in the five. desert. In that. Do you know how sweaty you'd be? That could actually kill you. You could you could just faint in the desert and die. Oh my god, and they ran me over too. Damn. But yeah, that's dangerous. Like, just trying to run in the desert like this? Now inside the Epsilonism Pilgrimage Zone. So yeah, we have to run five miles through the desert. This is serious. This is not a joke. This is like major rock, rockstar major trolling um, level. Um, and uh, the thing is, there's a cut phone call that should have been in this, but Trevor will call you in a cut phone call um, that didn't make it in the final product of the game, but Trevor would actually say, like, why do I see you running in the desert or something like that? Give and, um, Michael... Give up. Give up. Michael will, um, I don't remember what Michael says, but then Trevor says something along the lines of, and you call me crazy. So it's, um, 0 0.1 miles ran. My god. This is ridiculous. I think probably running on the airstrip would probably be the best way to do it. You just turn around, run back down the airstrip, run up the airstrip. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna... Yeah, Michael's getting ex exhausted here. Kiflam, Kiflam. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna fast forward this. I'm not gonna make you guys watch me run five miles through the desert. That's gonna be ridiculous. <laughs> So we have, um, we ran already half a mile, and, um, <laughs> I'm nearly at 10 minutes here, a little bit over 10 minutes, actually. Um, uh, but it's, um, uh, this is, um, uh, this is a bit, this is ridiculous, one of the most ridiculous missions ever, and, um, what I'm doing right here, this is probably the best way to do it, is just keep running up and down the airstrip, and the reason is, is because you don't have to worry about cars running you over, and you don't have to worry about hostile animals. Um, you can actually encounter hostile animals when you're running through the, through the wild. And also, this also will, will make sure you don't run outside of the de desert, because the nice people will accidentally run outside the desert. And I think it actually resets it when you do. So, um, you just keep doing this. But let's fast forward again.
Okay, so we're almost there, just point two miles away. But yeah, this is this is just ridiculous. Um, I think this is probably the worst GTA mission of all time. Um, but um, it's um, yeah, just running for twenty minutes um in the desert. Um, uh, damn. I, I, I get it though, it's a, the, the thing is though, this mission was designed to be a bad mission. Like a lot of missions in the GTA series aren't designed to be bad Get missions. Off. But this mission was designed to be a bad mission. This mission was designed to bore you and to make you annoyed. Um, though we're about to hit it here. We're really close. Finally, gonna hit this. And how long did this take I me? Mean, this took me like about 19 minutes, close to that. Um, because how long was the cutscene? Like two minutes? So it's like... Um, Pilgrimage complete. Oh my god. That was ridiculous. Oh my god, yeah. Oh man. So yeah, the airstrip is the best place to run because you don't have to worry about animals killing you and you don't have to worry about cars running you over either. But, oh man. Am I finished? No. Your journey is just beginning. Have you cast off the cane? Have you observed your inefficiencies? I guess so. Then they no longer exist. You are ready. Ready for what? To make another investment in yourself. Bring a generous tithe to the center in Vinewood, and I will personally receive you. So now we gotta, we're gonna be unlocking the final um, uh, Epsilon program mission. Do you have to make a donation in the final mission? I'm trying to remember if you do. Brother, father, son, Kiflam. Who's this? The divine truth, Chris Formage. Wait. I fought many mythical beasts in that desert in my previous lives. You are very near to quelling your antithesis. I've been following your progress very closely. You have? I'm everywhere all at once. One more mile and you will have arrived at where you are. Make me proud, Zondar. Craft be praised. It just glitched out. It glitched out. That call was supposed- you were supposed to get that call beforehand, and then the other call afterwards. It glitched. Um, okay, that's weird. I better not have to run anything again, or I'm gonna be pissed. I'm not on birth. So this is the Epsilon, uh, program's headquarters. Look at this place, uh, very fancy, huh? That music constantly plays, too. Let's go meet Chris, the founder. Praised. Welcome, Zondar. I'm so happy to see that you understand everything. Well, I know nothing, Chris, with no H. Well, then you know everything. Kiflam. Kiflam. The tract is being written. We're writing the tract together. Together. I'm writing the track here. Do you have the cash? Yes. Yes, I do. He just snatches it from him. Today... It's such a scam. I was speaking with Carpetan in the Paradigm 4. And he said that we should deliver some of the Apocalypse funds to the Cayman Islands. The Cayman uh, Islands. Uh, the Cayman Islands. They're, they're a country, um, the, the Cayman Islands. A lot of people hide their money in the Cayman Islands. The Cayman Islands have very, um, uh, have a, uh, very little taxes, and I believe there's no income tax in the Cayman Islands. So a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of millionaires, billionaires, um, uh, important people, presidents, dictators, a lot of famous people, bad people, some good people. But a lot of wealthy and powerful elite people, they put their money in the Cayman Islands. So that's a place where a lot of people hide their money offshore. And so he's saying, we're going to put it in the Cayman Islands. This is such a scam. 100%. Then you and I can write the tract. Keep on. Zondar, tell me, have you reached my paradigm? Keep on. Now, are you ready to write the tract? Keep on. Just make sure to deliver this big bale of cash to my helicopter. To my helicopter. Oh, and I'm sure you'll be pleased to know Kraft is very impressed with your progress. Ah. 
Get flop. Follow Epsilon security. No! Stay over there! Stay in convoys on dark. Chris is placing a lot of trust in you with this assignment. Get flop. Zildor, do you copy? What is your ETA? I'm coming in to land now. Ah, yes, brother. I see you. Excellent. How much money is in here, anyway? How much money is in here, anywhere? Any amount is insignificant when weighed against the value of absolute understanding. Let me show you guys what happens if you deliver the money. Offshore in two Earth hours. They're taking the money to the Cayman Islands. They scammed so many people. Chris loves you, brother, brother. Cram loves you. Enlightened being, transcendent soul, all that good stuff. And lots of chicks. We've got something for you. You're going to be P U M P pumped. Get flown. This is what you got as your final reward for completing the Epsilon program. A rusty tractor. And the guy runs away. No, screw this. I'm going to show you guys another way to do this. So it's $50,000 that they ask for your final donation to them. I didn't notice that before. $50,000. Chris is placing a lot of trust in you with this assignment. Keep flying. Zildor, do you copy? What is your ETA? I'm coming in to land now. Ah, uh, yes, brother. I see you. Excellent. How much money is in here, anyway? Why would that concern you? Any amount is insignificant when weighed against the value of absolute So there's another thing that you can do. And I think a lot of people are going to like me doing this. I think this mission is one of the best GTA missions because of just the, the two choices that you have at the end. Oh, screw this.
So, there we go. Fuel hasn't affected anything else before in the GTA um, uh, world, but I guess it has for this helicopter. So you've lost them. Helicopter's flying away. And you guys are probably wondering, why didn't I kill any of them? Why didn't I kill any of them? Because they're probably victims. Um, uh, they're getting scammed as well. You know, the real, uh, the real scumbag here is Chris. A lot of people don't think about that when they kill the, um, uh, oh, here we go. You fucking traitor. After all we've done for you, you can consider your enlightenment revoked, you son of a bitch. And you can consider this my refund. Don't you realize how powerful I am? I make or break Finewood careers. I will destroy you. Gotta go, brother, brother. Kiss them. You are unsavable. You will be the fertilizer of the 10th paradigm. So yeah, that's, um, uh, we screwed over Chris in the end. We took his money. So like, you know, all the donations, the expensive clothing, the supercars he just steal and drop off at most likely Chris's house, and then taking it all to the Cayman Islands, it's so obviously a scam. And, um, and so, like, a lot of people don't think about that when they kill, like, all the people in there at the end, because you can kill all the, all the Epsilonists chasing you. But, um, you know, I like to think of it that they're, Whoa, that they're victims as well, that they got scammed. You know, Chris is the scammer here. Um, so that's why I don't, um, uh, that's why I don't hurt any of them at the end. Um, but, um, uh, anyways, um, you know, about Scientology is, you know, there's a lot of talk on whether it's a scam or not, or whether the leaders really believe it. I'm not gonna make assumptions on whether the leaders believe it, but I will say that, like I said earlier, that religion requires a lot of donations, constantly buying their books, their, um, uh, their, their, um, their books, their movies, all the other stuff, and so yeah. there's a reason that GTA is a parody off of this. Um, so... I don't think that, I don't know if the leaders of it are in on some kind of scam or if they truly believe it, but the elite, the leaders of it are oftentimes the rich, uh, rich and powerful elites that are in on it. So, you know, that's at least my opinion on it. That's what I think about it. And Rockstar did a parody of Scientology here. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day.